Hey guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today I'm sharing four super easy and delicious after school snack ideas. So stay tuned. Before we jump right in, I would love it if you would hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already, and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Now all of the snacks that I'm sharing today are super easy and tasty, but out of all of them, this one is definitely my favorite. For this, I'm going to use one cup of Greek yogurt, and I'm using vanilla yogurt. And to make this quick and easy, I'm going to mix it in the same bowl I'm going to serve it in. To this, I'm going to add about a quarter cup of peanut butter. You can use any kind that you like, but I'm using a smooth, all natural style peanut butter. Now this next part is optional. I am gonna go ahead and add a little drizzle of honey. Sometimes Greek yogurt can be pretty tart, so I wanna mellow it out a bit. Now all I have to do is mix it all up. I want the peanut butter and the honey to be fully incorporated into the yogurt. This is so nice and smooth and creamy. Now, it wouldn't be chocolate chip cookie dough without some chocolate chips. And I like to use the mini ones. I just sprinkle a little bit on the top. And there you have it. Super simple but delicious fruit dip. To go along with this dip, I like to serve strawberries, slices of banana, and slices of apple. Now, if you wanted to, you totally could leave the peanut butter out in this recipe and it would still be delicious. This is definitely one that the kids gobble up and I'm a big fan of it too. Next up, I'm sharing a more savory snack, and this is one that most kids are going to love because it's pizza. And what's really cool is you only need a few ingredients, starting with a cracker. I'm using a whole wheat Ritz cracker. I'm also using a little bit of pizza sauce, some turkey pepperoni. You can use regular, but I really like that the turkey pepperoni is not so greasy. And then I'm also using a bunch of mozzarella cheese. And to make it easy, I just cut it into squares. Now, I really like to bake these in the oven, but you could very easily microwave them as well. And if you do, your older kids could definitely make this themselves. I'm gonna go ahead and line my cookie sheet with foil so it's easy to clean up and lay out my crackers. Next, I'm gonna add just a teeny tiny bit of pizza sauce. You definitely don't wanna add too much, otherwise your cracker is gonna end up soggy. To this, I'm going to add one slice of pepperoni. I know usually the cheese would come next and then the pepperoni, but I'm flipping it here. So once I have all the pepperoni on there, next comes the cheese. One little square is all you need. Next, to amp up the pizza flavor, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of Italian seasoning on top of it all. Just a teeny bit. Next, I'm going to put these under the broiler. The important part is you don't wanna cook these too long, otherwise your cracker will get burnt. It's just long enough to melt the cheese. Just a few minutes under the broiler or about 30 seconds in the microwave. And you guys, this smells and tastes just like pizza. The kids definitely love it. Even Griffin, my toddler, is a big fan. Next up, I have a snack that's perfect for back to school season, which always makes me think of fall. This one includes apples and cinnamon. For this snack, I'm starting with some pre-made waffles that I've toasted, and then I'm also gonna be using some slices of apple, some cream cheese, and mine happens to be some cinnamon brown sugar cream cheese and I'm gonna sprinkle the top with more cinnamon. To my already toasted waffle, I'm gonna add a good amount of the cream cheese, and I'm just gonna spread it all over the top. Next up, I'm going to add several slices of apple, and I've sliced these pretty thin. Now that's looking really good already. Did I mention this was really easy? Because it totally is. Next, I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit more cinnamon on the top. This smells so good, perfect for fall. Or just about any time, really. These smell just like a delicious apple pie. Up next, I have a snack that comes together so quickly, and it's kind of like a cross between a quesadilla and a wrap. It starts with one flour tortilla. To this, I'm going to add just a little bit of barbecue sauce. 
about a tablespoon or so, and you just use whatever barbecue sauce your kids prefer. We really like the Kinder's brand that we get at Costco. It's not too spicy for the kids. I'm gonna go ahead and spread this out so it's a nice thin layer. Next comes the cheese, and you can use any kind that you like. It could be shredded, or here I'm using slices because that's what I have, and I'm using Colby Jack. If I was making this for myself, I might use Pepper Jack. That would be really good. Next, I'm gonna add just a little bit of shredded chicken on top of the cheese, and this is just leftover from our dinner the previous night. You could also use deli meat if that's what you got. Next, I pop this into the microwave for about 30 seconds or so, or until the cheese is melted. Then I fold in the edges and then roll it up. But I don't cut it right away. I wait for it to cool down just a bit. I like to cut these on the diagonal and serve them with extra barbecue sauce for dipping. Let me know in the comments down below out of all of these snacks today, which one is your favorite? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.